do you go about physically writing a song? Well, I blurred them out. I just blurred them out like a kid. I used to be more, you know, disciplined and all that, but I'm not anymore. Just spit it out. Some people think that you would write, like, by just free association rather than... Do you ever, like, get into heavy revision and say, That's oh, a trap. Like I, don't, I don't revise unless it's just, like, sometimes you have to cut the fingers off to fit the glove, you know, if you like the glove, you know, and the hand's too big. I'm sorry, we're going to have to take... Take those fingers off, man. You know, I'd like to feel, I mean, my songs, I'm trying to bend the frame a little bit, <clears throat> try on different hats and work in different areas, do show tunes, do my own kind of fractured whatever. So I'd like to think that I could, you know, do that same kind of shape shifting as an actor, but I, I haven't really had a chance to, I haven't had a role that I, I could really, you know, step into. I wonder if it was difficult for you to take something that was essentially visual theater and put it onto vinyl. Well, a lot of tape saturation and, you know, you just, you kind of have to work in miniature in the studio, so you shrink yourself down and, you know, go into the clock mechanism and, you know, do, do all that. It's different on stage because you're dealing with a, an ancient ritual in the studio dealing with physics, electromagnetism, and hydrodynamics. So it's, it's just different, you know. You can tamper with it, you know. You can paint it blue, and you can break it in half, and you can, you know, diamond cutting under the best of circumstances. On the studio, it's, it's still diamond cutting, but you're on a truck that's moving, you know. So it's an endless balancing act between what you want and what you can have and what they couldn't find but you'll have to substitute for. In the studio, you can get like, you know, like a prince. Bring me 300 white horses, you know. Paint their hooves blue, please. Thank you. <laughs> you know, down the road, everything is busted up and, you know, he didn't make the ride, you know. The eggs weren't in the anvil case, and they're all over the blanket, and the blanket is torn by the, you know. But we're doing okay in spite of all that.